Miners did the unthinkable when it came to trying to get cryptocurrency. In case you're trying to find a PS5, you soon might be able to get 80 different versions on a PC, and AMD makes an unexpected update to their APUs. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your host, Brett. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet. And yes, I do wanna take a second to call out my amazing new set that is set up here in our Pennsylvania office. I am thrilled with the way that this turned out. I love it so much. Big shout out to my pal, Zach, over from the channel, Zach's Tech Turf, who helped me not only hang these lights, but also just get the lighting and everything else set up for it. I love this set. So yes, this will be the aesthetic of hot news moving forward. And what might be the aesthetic of miners moving forward is getting consoles and mining on them. This is after Ukrainian law enforcement found an underground crypto farm that was hijacking electricity from the grid and using it to mine cryptocurrency. And amongst everything that they found was a lot of consoles. Look at all of those PlayStation 4s that you're seeing right there. So on the list of things that were being fed into this illegal power grid were 3,800 PlayStation 4s, more than 500 video cards, data processors, draft documentation, electricity consumption accounting, notebooks, phones, and flash drives. Obviously, this was some scheme that was going on and Ukrainian authorities have dealt with it at this point. But this is something that is kind of intriguing because as far as all of the research that I've ever done, mining on consoles is either barely profitable or not even functional whatsoever. In fact, we did a video on this over on UFD Tech back in April 10th, 2018, where I discussed this exact point. And essentially it came down to maybe if you had a PlayStation 4 that had Linux on it, but you needed to have a PS4 that wasn't patched to a specific firmware. So that's not every PS4 that's gonna be out there. And then number two, in case you can find like websites that'll do it through the browser, it's really, really poor and you're not getting a ton of performance out of it. However, as the article does note, since they were tapping illegally into the electricity grid, they might not have actually even cared whether or not it was efficient and they were just able to get their hands on the consoles in the first place and they were able to mine with it regardless and just make free money that way. Even if it was only one one hundredth of a kilo hash, it still technically is profitable if you're stealing from the electricity company. I wouldn't necessarily begin to worry that consoles are now going to be the next big thing in mining. It does appear that this would be just be a one-off situation. So just all the stock shortages that you're experiencing are because normal gamers want to buy them or scalpers want to purchase them. And in case you're trying to buy last-gen consoles like the PS4 or the Xbox One generation of consoles, well, it turns out that there's stock issues for those in the United States right now as well. So. Uh, yeah, just go ahead, try to buy all the things and then not get your hand on anything. But you can get your hands on today's episode sponsor of Hot News. The first sponsor in our brand new set is one of my favorites, which is Chirp. These Chirp wheels definitely help to make sure that my back is feeling good. It's the world's simplest back pain relief. You just hop on the Chirp wheel with its unique four-way stretch with that spinal canal. You roll on it and you get the back relief that you're potentially looking for. It's an FDA registered class one medical device you can purchase it with your hsa savings account and it's so simple you just lay on it you roll on it let's see if i can do that in the shot can you see me oh look at that you can see my head i'm rolling on the chirp wheel right now yeah baby oh that feels so good Ugh. The people who have purchased this in our Discord community remark on how well it cracks their back in case that's something you look for. I, it doesn't necessarily crack mine, so I don't typically report on that in our ad spots. But it's simple, it's super effective. It can support up to 500 pounds. There's three different sizes. I absolutely love it. The community feedback's been great. And they're the first sponsor in the new set. So go check them out at the link in the video description. Big thanks to Chirp for sponsoring this. The Chirp wheel could save you back, could save your life. Maybe that's that's not an approved statement about them but let's stay on the Sony console side of the train because we got some new news coming in about PlayStation 5s being made into PCs. That's right, we're talking about the AMD 4700S APU that's supposed to be rolling out. And Tom's Hardware was able to get a comment from AMD that there should be 80 different systems based on this 4700S, which has the eight core 16 thread Ryzen chip that's baked into the PS5 with the GPU disabled. We've been seeing pictures come out about this chip. We're getting more 
details on it. And that's because it's already been for sale with AMD noting that it was starting on June 24th. It's over half a month past that. So it's being sold in Eastern regions. It hasn't necessarily made its way to the US, but I would love to get my hands on one of these and see how it performs. But just key note, it's AMD 4700S, not AMD Ryzen 4700S. So don't go mistake. This is not a Ryzen chip, my friends. Don't get it upside down like Sony did when they made an advertisement for the PS5 where they showed that the guy was playing God of War with his PS5 upside down. Disk drive goes on the bottom, my friends. Otherwise, you have to flip the Blu-ray disc upside down and it's just, it's, it's no good. Good job, Sony. I'm glad you know how to mount your own console. And Geralt knows how to mount Roach and uh, the Witcher Con knows how to mount our attention to them seeing what they've got coming for us with the Witcher 3 update that we're expecting for next-gen updates as well as on the PC. Just to refresh your memory, it's supposed to have things like ray tracing as well as new textures with them working on one of the key modders in the modding scene for the Witcher 3, bringing those into life. So I'm very excited for that. And despite all of the crap that Cyberpunk got it was a gorgeous looking game so i'm hyped for this next generation update for the witcher 3 at WitcherCon, they announced that it's not ready to show off yet because why would you show off you know the next gen version of your most popular game at your just con convention dedicated to it why, why would you do that it's all about the tv show which there's going to be tv show dlc baked into that and we also got new cover art for it which i suppose is to update the moodiness the contrast the darkness and i guess the better textures is what it's trying to show off Geralt looks just angrier in the picture <sighs> Also getting announced is that The Witcher's second season is coming out to Netflix on December 17th. In case that interests you, I'm pretty excited for it. They also talked about the anime that they're working on for it. And I'm working on talking to you about the crypto stonk update for today's episode of Hot News. Let's get into talking about Bitcoin. It's up 1.8% on the last 24 hours to be at $33,886 as of the time of filming, climbing ever so steadily, almost nearly crossing $34,000 recently. Ethereum up 2% to be at 2132 dogecoin up 1.88 it looks like the crypto market is green all around right now the meme stunks on friday however having a slightly rough day gamestop down 0.08 percent to 191.23 amc down a little bit more 3.65 percent to 46 dollars and 19 cents in the case you're not familiar with why i cover crypto stunks number one obviously cryptocurrencies are just a big part into the tech news especially when it comes to the supply of gpus as well as just emerging technologies and decentralized finance and all of that. So I cover the major players in order to just give you a good recap of that. The meme stonks also just kind of has a Venn diagram of people who are interested in investing in the stocks that are being shorted by just hedge funds in order to take down the man. It's I've, I've noticed that the communities collide. So AMC, GameStop, one of the keys shorted stocks and just the it's it's Wall Street bets, my friends. But what's even more of a meme than the meme stonks is this giant billionaire space race. Richard Branson going to space yesterday, infecting it with capitalism, but also not making it to space. The Virgin Galactic crew going up just 43.4 miles into the atmosphere, which is impressive, but technically space is denoted to be at 62 miles up. So Jeff Bezos will be the first Playboy billionaire philanthropist to go up into space and Richard Branson will be the man who couldn't get it up enough. He needs some milk. Speaking of the other billionaire who has a rocket company, let's talk about Elon Musk and Tesla with its vision rollout of the full self-driving beta. V9 is where they disable radar in order to make just the, all of the full self-driving rely on only vision exclusively. So the actual optical cameras that are baked into the Tesla vehicles are now responsible for driving the car. That dropped on Saturday with a lot of people actually being able to test it out. Currently, the beta is rolled out to roughly 2,000 thousand people in the United States and several of them make YouTube videos about it and what it turns out to be which Elon Musk promised that this would be a huge update is that it's kind of better but it's also kind of worse in a lot of ways it almost hurt this guy by crashing his car into a monorail at one point it seems like there's still a lot to work out however it is a complete redesign and software rework of full self-driving it's based on again the cameras rather than using cameras and radar so that they can move forward and potentially bring it out to everybody who actually pays for it, which is just a meme. And GPUs are a meme. They're a myth, really. They don't exist. NVIDIA showing off more RTX 3080s at the Billy Billy World 2021 conference, showing off GPUs that, number one, you can't get because 
if they'd made them, you wouldn't be able to get them. But number two, they're not gonna sell them. And I just think they're beautiful. Blue and orange, it's, these are just good looking cars. I, for one, thank NVIDIA for coming up with good designs. Please just sell more creative designs like this NVIDIA. Like your Founders Editions are good, they're industrial, but like, branch out a little bit. Obviously you'll piss off the A B partners if you start experimenting too much, but just like painted trouts, I, I love that. So maybe a custom hot news one, I don't know. And we don't know what's going on with AMD's APUs because there's been updates coming to Linux that show that they're gonna be working on updating the audio coprocessor that's going to be in the Van Gogh APU that's supposed to be coming out, which this is just a weird little APU because number one is supposed to be on Zen 2 CPU, which is a generation behind where we are right now, but then RDNA 2 based GPU, which is ahead of where all the APUs are right now, and then it's supposed to have DDR5 support and be on seven nanometers, and now it's having an audio coprocessor update. It looks like this might be something that AMD is really using to test all of their future technologies and just in a lesser sold product or just to businesses so that it's not actually making its way into gamers and that they could actually test this for like the server environments and for the mass consumer in order to make sure that it's working for them. What do you think of AMD's APU updates? Let me know down below in the comments. And let me know what you think of our brand new set for hot news going into this new UFD Tech 5.0 generation that we're embarking upon. I guess this would be hot news 3.0 and UFD Tech 5.0 because of when hot news was birthed out of UFD Tech. Regardless, I wanna hear from you down below about just everything. You can also go check out Friday's episode of Hot News where I talk about GPUs that are actually gonna be sold for under MSRP. Not in America, but it's happening somewhere. Hot news off.